My name is Jacqueline Woodruff and I'm here with Jimmy Lynn of Porsche Center Markham. Jimmy, take a minute to introduce yourself and this beautiful dealership we are in today. Great. Um, my name is Jimmy Lin and uh, I'm part of the uh, Porsche Center Markham crew. Um, I've been with Porsche for 16 years and this is a brand new dealership that just opened up in April. And we are the, one of the first dealership to be on mall property. We are situated right at Markfield Mall. Porsche is making a big push into the electric vehicle segment, more now so than ever. Jimmy, can you talk a little bit about that and how the push will be all about electric in the future? Yes, so Porsche started uh, having hybrid vehicles uh, back in 2011 with the Cayenne and the Panamera. And after that one, uh, the plug-in hybrids uh, came in for the Panamera and the Cayenne as well. Uh, the next one after that was actually the 918 Spider, which is a performance supercar uh, that is a plug-in. Um, and now we have the all new Taycan that's 100% fully electric. Um, in the future, what we will also have next year is actually a Macan that's going to be fully electric as well. And the Macan, for anyone who doesn't know, is a is a mid-size SUV. Compact SUV, yes. Compact and SUV. that one there is going to be the top of the line model for the Macan in the future. Excellent. So we have a Porsche Taycan here. And the Taycan launched, would you say a year ago? Yes, okay. Taycan launched in 2020, and this is the second year, 2021. Amazing, yes. and, and tell us about the Porsche Taycan because there's so much to unpack here. But what people love is that, as you said, it's 100% electric. Let's talk about this car. What makes it different than other electrics out there? Well, with the Taycan, being that it is a Porsche, so we focus on the performance aspect of things, as well as being a German brand, it is focused on the build quality as well. It is, uh, if you look at the design of the vehicle, it is fully aerodynamic with very, very low coefficient of drag. Okay, in terms of the styling of the vehicle, it's very low to the ground okay but it still allows you to get in and out of the car extremely easy yes even the side of the car if you look at the wheels these wheels are designed so that you don't have any wind that will allow it to slow down the vehicle let's talk about performance as you mentioned how many horsepower can we get in this electric vehicle ah, so there is three different models for the Taycan you have the Taycan 4s which gives you 522 horsepower goes from 0 to 100 kilometers in four seconds now you also have the turbo and that one there will give you 670 horsepower goes from 0 to 100 in 3.2 seconds and the top of the line model is the Taycan Turbo S that one there will give you 750 horsepower goes from 0 to 100 in 2.8 seconds it's so impressive and it's such a unique driving experience and let's talk about the range of this car when we're talking electric we want to know on a single charge how far can we drive the car yes so the car does allow you to have the ability to choose different size of batteries so on the 4s you have the small battery and the big battery they call it the performance battery and performance battery plus so the performance battery will give you about 350 kilometers and the plus will give you an additional hundred so giving you about a 450 kilometer range yes. a lot of people are curious about at home charging or charging in general how does that work because there's a couple of options yes so charging at home is quite easy all the cars that we build we include a uh, portable charger that will allow you to take it with you now the portable charger all you need is a 220 plug at home once you plug it in it will give you a uh, quick charging now this is not going to be as quick as when you're outside on vacations um, but the thing is the charging time will range from four hours to eight hours depending on what is equipped inside your vehicle yes so that is, in turn will give you the full range of the driving when you're on the road um, Porsche is actually offering three years of free charging on all the turbo chargers that's across Canada and these chargers charges your car 
from 5% to 80% in just 22 minutes. Jimmy, let's talk about the interior because it, it does look like a Porsche, but there are subtle touches that make it look different from the regular gasoline powered cars. Yes, you're right. Um, with the vehicle inside, if you come and take a look, uh, the interior of the vehicle, you still have the same feel of how a Porsche is supposed to. Now, the interior is now going to have no buttons, okay? The only one that you will find is the power button, okay, which is still on the left-hand side of the vehicle. Now, in terms of the interior, you'll have three big screens. Uh, the center one will be for the driver, which is 16.8 inches, which is huge, even has buttons on the side, but these are not real buttons. They are actually LCD touchscreens. Um, at the center console also has 10.8 inches of screen as well. Once again, LCD, and you have the third screen right in the middle that will give you the control for your temperature as well as you can even write on the pad. Now, the design cues of this vehicle, actually, if you look at the 918 Spider that I mentioned earlier, a lot of the des design cues are from that vehicle. Even the shifter for changing the different uh, modes is right there in the right hand side of the steering wheel. Thank you so much, Jimmy, for that walk around of this, this beautiful Porsche Taycan. And thank you for watching.